One can experience the mind. One can experience what they feel the mind wants them to experience because they have given their mind priority, but it's not real experience, which means you're not going to gain insight, clarity, awareness from it. To have real, clear vision is to want to see truthfully. To have clarity of vision, it requires that you let go of what the mind is showing you. You may not even notice, but the way you look through the world, the way you look at the world, at others, the mind is showing you. You may go, you know what, I can see. This person right here, they're very nice. I can see this person, they're very sweet. This person right here, they're not so nice. And what if I told you that all your judgments are seen through the mind? that there's a lens over your actual vision that doesn't allow you to see clearly. We remain blind simply because we allow our mind to be priority. And with this priority comes disallowing our chance to have clarity of vision. To be in neutrality is to have clarity of vision. To not choose sides is to have clarity of vision. To see from this moment with nothing added to it is clarity of vision. This is very difficult though, I must say. If there's one thing that's difficult, is to let go of what the mind wants you to see so you can actually see. So let go of false and see truth is very difficult. We like the false. We like the fantasy. It seems all too real. But the false is void of filling. The false looks like, but it's not actual. The only way to really know, to really see, is to want to experience. One can experience the mind. One can experience what they feel the mind wants them to experience because they have given their mind priority, but it's not real experience, which means you're not gonna gain insight, clarity, awareness from it. And this is what I started to come to see is that to have real, clear vision is to want to see truthfully. We disallow ourselves because to actually see truthfully, to actually live this moment as it is, requires us to experience. And experience, which mean, meaning 
feel reality as it is right now. This is clear vision, reality as it is in this moment. And the only way to really feel that is through the route of truth. As it is, this moment, with no additions or subtractions, as it is. Experiencing this moment truthfully allows you to see. Your vision becomes clear. You give yourself the chance to be clear in this moment and what you see. Because the moment you can see clearly, you can operate clearly. The moment you can see clearly, you know that this is actuality. You can now feel life. And I say, you are disallowing, meaning that it's in your control. It's not out of your control. It is in your control to see falsity or see what's true. To feel life as it is or to get a concept or an idea of what the feeling would be like. You will stay blind if you allow yourself to look through the lens of the mind. The mind shows you whatever it wants you to see, whatever you would prefer to see, what will keep you safe. Being here totally, wanting to feel, give you the chance to see truthfully. Not what you prefer to see, not what you want to see, but as it is. What's true? Removing the lens. Allowing what's real is the new way to being able to experience life. Meditation can give you the chance to clearly see. Because meditation is an avenue. It gives you the chance to clearly see because it gives you the chance to be in this moment, to be. And as you're being, it is as it is. There is no additions, there's no subtractions, it's just simply hereness. That is truth. You have the chance. See falsely or see clearly. Thank you for being here, listening, allowing this to give you more clarity, more vision. Meditation is the avenue that can allow you clear vision. You just have to want to see life as it is. I now have my Budapest gathering coming up. And if you feel like you want to learn more about yourself in relation to living, being, this is for you. If you have questions about women as well and yourself in relation to women, this is also for you. There's a link below in the description box for my Budapest gathering. Just go there and you'll find the tickets and the info on that because it's available now.
Subscribe so you can be able to follow this and share this with anybody who you feel knows about meditation and wants to see life. It's more important to be that which you are than to try to become that which you want. So never try. Simply be.